So this video is about emotional detox and uh, the primal diet. I have a link to the uh, study in the description, but basically, um, one of Agenus's clients, um, she's the one who calculated the cancer success rate. Like the 96% of the people who did the diet who had cancer um, cleared their cancer or, or lived like five to seven years past when they should have. Um, she did blood tests on somebody for I don't know how many days, but she measured the hormone levels, uh, the spike of hormone levels when someone was having a detox of the nervous system. And she found that there were elevated hormones uh, during this detox. And uh, she postulated that, you know, these um, toxins were stored in the nervous system and um, when you detox them, you will relive um, or re-experience the feelings and trauma associated with the uh, original event that caused them in the first place. And uh, like I said, this is because of a nervous system based detoxification. And these might go on, you know, for a week, two weeks, maybe a month. Um, just depends on how serious and how long like the trauma was. So, you know, she wrote a paper on this. Um, her name was Alora Van Winkle, I think. Um, like I said, I'll put the description to the study, the PDF, in the bio, kind of, or the description. It kind of breaks everything down uh, for you in simple terms. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, especially if you've had some traumatic events in your life. Even as simple as like an asthma and the fear of not being able to breathe. Like if you have an asthma attack, um, you know, I had asthma. I've had that experience before. Um, probably not the most traumatic thing I've gone through. But it was still a little scary. But that is part of the primal diet, um, you know, and the, the cleansing process. It's not just um, like sickness of the body or whatever. It also has to do with... The mind because you know these hormones they're stored and then eventually they're released once your body has the fuel to um, you know get rid of them well same thing along the lines of the insomnia and the adrenaline detox that happens um, at night um, I think these you know hormones they might be a little more spread out so you might even feel it through the day um, and at night because if they're in your blood, they're in your blood. I don't know. I don't know how quickly the adrenaline leaves the blood. I know that when I was waking up, I was waking up every hour on the hour. And that's if I could get sleep. But, um, you know, the next day I was tired. I was always tired and lethargic because I couldn't sleep, obviously. Um, didn't get any of that adrenaline when I needed it, ironically. Um, so, you know, something to keep in mind and be aware of um, if you feel like you're severely depressed or something or you got some anger, you can think, um, you can think, uh, you know, what, you know, well, what is this? Oh, well, it's just normal. Hi, doggie. Hi, doggies. As far as foods you can take to help with this, um, obviously the clay and the milk, cheese throughout the day. You could consider some cooked starch as well. And um, a lot of white meat, a lot of fish, a lot of chicken, um, cream and sour cream. You know, milkshakes would be good. Also, if you can get your hands on some intestinal fat, leaf lard or suet, Primarily from uh, like poultry and stuff would be the best. Um, that would be really healing and helpful as well, I think. Also, uh, being active helps and uh, getting some sunshine, try to do some things you like. I always try to find like put a comedy on or something, you know, like Caddyshack is really funny to me. So, you know, that's a good movie to watch if you uh, need to be cheered up. And, um, yeah, that's really about all you can do. Eventually it'll pass, so it's not forever. So just uh, just know that. And uh, if that happens to you, 
good luck. But there's plenty of things to help, um, you know, your situation if that does happen. So the suggestions I just mentioned, you could look stuff up on the uh, Agenus online, the question and answers, listen to the Q and A's in the workshops. Um, there's some, you know, golden nuggets of wisdom in there too. So anyway, um, and as always, you can leave questions and comments in the uh, comment section there, and I'll reply. Hope that helps.